But there's a third thing that really distinguishes somebody who, are you going in this direction or have you taken a U-turn and you're really moving in a new direction, living in a new direction? And it's not only the idea of having a distinctive lifestyle and it's not just having a passionate faith, but it's a third thing that we see there in verse 6. It's very interesting. He says this, we have heard about the faith that you have, but then he says, and that's, and that's toward God, a faith toward God, what you believe about God and what God wants for you and what you're doing about it. But he says there's also in verse 6 something else that we have heard of. We have heard of your love for all of God's people. Love. And people that are going in the right direction, people that are really making an impact, people that really have vision for what God can do in their lives and God does things through their lives, really has an inclusive kind of love. And man, I would want this so much for our church. This was a church in Colossae that they didn't have any cliques and they didn't have any kind of qualifications of how you're going to be in or be out. This was an all-inclusive kind of love. This was a place where everybody was invited. This is a place where no matter where you come from or what you've been involved in or what you're about, everybody come on in and they swung the doors open and invited everybody. And this was this is a church, and I envision us being this way, that has open arms for everybody. This is a church that would wrap their arms around whoever needed arms being wrapped around them. And, and I tell you what, it's a, it's a great thing in Romans 12. I love the way that Paul writes this um, in the message. It's a paraphrase of Romans 12, and it says this. It says, it says this about inclusive love. Love people from the center of who you are. Right? And, and run for your lives from evil and cling for everything that you're worth to what is good. And he says this, be good friends that love people deeply and practice being second fiddle to other people. And I just love that. That's the kind of inclusive kind of love. Jesus said, hey, not that everybody out there would know us by what we believe, not that everybody would know us by some kind of you know, bumper sticker we have on our car. Not that God's going to know us by, you know, what kind of haircuts and clothes we wear and, and the way we talk and the do's and don'ts. He says, you know how people will know that you're my disciples, that you're my followers? By, man, by your love. By this inclusive kind of love for everybody around you. And, you know, as we go through this series, I just want to challenge us to really talk to God and say, God, do I have an inclusive kind of love? And how do you want to expand my heart that way? I mean, God, am I, am I really looking at other people and looking down at them and thinking that I'm better than them? Am I looking at people and, 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 and excluding people and thinking that I'm better than them because of the clothes I wear, the car I drive, or where my house is, or how much money I make? I mean, God, am I discriminating? Do I have judgmental kinds of tendencies? Do I have a, a heart that is partial toward one group and, 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 and excluding people? The other, I mean, am I somebody who thinks that I'm better because I have a bigger IQ or um, a, a, a more athletic or better looking or my family's better than theirs? And you know what? We would just say to God, God, help me because I don't want to be that way. I want to have an inclusive kind of love that opens my arms out for everybody. And our church wants to be an inclusive place where everybody's welcome, no matter age or race or background or any kind of thing. Everybody come on in. And you know, James put it this way in James chapter 2. He says this, he says, My brothers and sisters, believers in our glorious Lord Jesus must not show favoritism. And then he gives an example of how favoritism could creep into a church. Suppose a man comes into your meeting, just like a meeting like this, and is wearing a gold ring and fine clothes. And there also comes in a poor man wearing filthy, dirty, old clothes. And let's say that you say to the rich man over here, oh, oh, here's a seat for you right up here in the front. And you say to the poor man, oh, you can sit over there or stand over there or you can sit down here by my feet. And he says, if you do that, have you not discriminated among yourselves and made yourselves to be judges with evil thoughts, literally evil motives? And the idea is, is it doesn't matter. In Colossae, that church was not a church that gave priority, that discriminated, that had cliques. It was a church that was for everybody. And man, 
I tell you what, guys, when you think about the people in your life, I mean, there are so many people in our world, in our lives, that need outstretched arms and open hearts. There, there are people right now that are struggling to be sober just for one day. There's, there, there are people who are trying very hard to get an addiction out of their life and they need the unconditional love. There are parents who are reeling from a, 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 a prodigal child that they don't know what to deal with. There are people who are possibly losing homes and cars and, and bankruptcy is in their future and they just need the outstretched arms and an arm around them. There are people in our world who are hurting and have incredible pain because of abuse that they are experiencing at the hands of parents or, or a spouse. There are people in our world that you know of that are at your workplace or your family members or your friends and we just have to have an inclusive come on in and wrap our arms around this kind of people love. And the church has got to be a trauma center for people that are hurting, for people that are having hard times, and for people who desperately need an inclusive love.